I got it. Let's do this then. Closing argument. Begin. Oh, good lord. Alright, stock one. Stock one is set up. He comes back with one of the bottles, and okay, out of all the things we got so far right now. Okay, that's him putting up the bottle, creating the chemical, yep. He goes and puts it up. Then it goes to us, blows up the bomb and everything. No, we... Monocum panel, nope. Let's be on Monocum's panel. Spring is activated, nope, okay. We got a little bit more to go, we got a little bit more to go here. This whole body wasn't tied up. Tie burn rope onto my right hand. There we go, good. Okay. How do you support a spear? With his hand, yep. Good. And then in order to hurt himself. He put okay, yeah, he put this on. He put this on here. Put the uh, mask on here, good. Stock two, we got stock two. Let's go back to the beginning and see if we can uh, input any of these whatsoever. Let's be on one of panel, nope, that's not it. Place inside the break room, nope. That's the same chemical, never mind. Let's keep going through here. Beyond. Okay, that's the ladder. Good, he put up the ladder right there. And go through to the side like this. I got his prop top and laugh into something. And he stabbed himself in the hand. Yep. Reason he went to the warehouse was. Inside inside his throw grenade was. Nope. What made this spear fall? He let go. There we go. Okay, good. I'm setting up all the uh all the lines here. I'm setting all the lines here. Uh, what's uh, just everything. Reason one side of the warehouse was... Nope. I got a prop to knife or something. Okay, we gotta keep going, we gotta keep going. I'm gonna go from the beginning to the end. That's what I'm gonna do here. Beginning to the end. This inside the break room. Nope. Right before switching the poison. Inside the negative refrigerator. Yep, okay, this, this is it. Good. Let's keep going through here. Let's see what else we can find. We got a knife here. We need to utilize somehow. And maybe his uh, face on the uh, on the computer. That's what we also gotta do. Prop enough or something. Nope, that's the bear. We just went to inside the warehouse. Yes, okay, good. Yeah, went inside the warehouse for that. Let's go to the very beginning now. Let's go to the very beginning and go all from right to left. That's what we can do. We're gonna go from right to left. That's what we're doing here right now. Tracing the events from the start to the finish. That's what we're doing. Okay, so I brought the thing over. Started doing some chemicals before switch the poison. He peeled off the lid. Yes. Yeah, we gotta keep going through here. Place inside the break room. Place all these in here together. Okay, last stock. Last stock. Make sure, make sure we put them all in. Empty, 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 empty. No, this is all filled, not empty. Filled, 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 filled. filled. What goes into the first one that we're gonna find here? Here. He propped up the bear. There we go. Yep. Keep going to the left. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. But I broke inside the fire grenade. Was the poison? All right, we did it. that happened in this case? Oh. <sighs> The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base, Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory, and put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. 
In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally, he propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up, he also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. Oh, this is actually really, really intense. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um, Chiaki? What is it? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? <laughs> you say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. <clears throat> it's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way Hope can lose. Absolute hope they can break through any despair I can never lose in a place like this. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. What Nagito believed in? Despair? His talent! He did believe in his talent! I see! 
Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. He did. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. This is definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. Except us, because we don't have one. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin a cylinder, point it toward you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, so that's it's good. So that's how you're supposed to play it. So would it be fine if I only used one bullet, huh? Guess it was all just as Monami said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. Th that? You only have one sixth chance of surviving. But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. I believe actually the uh, part of me thinks that the escape the escape game that we had in Funhouse was actually an ode to the Nonary games. And if it is, that's a solid ode. Nonary titles are actually absolutely amazing doing a playthrough on that. Nevertheless, uh, enough of the plugs, let's go ahead and get back to this. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get clean clean duty just as he wanted. <clears throat> that's right. I just trusted my luck. I trust to be picked for the cleaning duty. Oh god, how was his voice again? You just fell out on your trick? On your luck? Oh luck, yeah, luck. It's not just luck. It's true it's true my talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with a red mark? <laughs> Somebody called the ultimate lucky student. You don't seem very lucky right now. Oh wait, that was Hajime. But some someone called lucky student you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was all actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Huh? He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. No. There's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. Wh what did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The traitor. The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean, he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? I didn't even have to ask. Should already know what the answer is. One of us, the traitor. I see! That's it? The traitor? Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? It didn't really work out because we all threw the grenades. Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then... What he said in his video message... <clears throat> it wouldn't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm the bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that it never came forward. So he was just bluffing. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then, it's just not to said at the beginning. His purpose was to beat up without the traitor. He just believed in what Nagito said, would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason this took so damn long, 
Was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you gonna do? Are you guys gonna believe me? Give Aladdin his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know what he was aiming for, who he was aiming for. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. Shaki? If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. Chiaki? Because they weren't created to do that. Ch Chiaki? What? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! Girl, no! No! No, please no! That's why I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Holy hell, girl, no. Jesus Christ, okay. All right. <sighs> the two things she could be alluding to right now. The two things that she could be alluding to right now as of this moment. The two things, two logical things that could be the traitor. Either... Either Chiaki thinks she might be the traitor. Or maybe she knows that she's a traitor. Or it could be us. If you think about it logically, we the odd one out. We're not the ultimate. We never belong with this class in particular. And let's say if there are 16 ultimates on this on this on this on this island, then there's one hidden that's probably controlling this whole thing. And then there's us. Proga not able to understand or think of them as not being one of everybody. That could be it, or Chiaki is saying that she's a traitor. Oh god, I, I really hope she's not. I really hope she's not. Hajime, please. Oh fuck no, oh, Jesus Christ, girl, you can't be doing that. <sighs> fuck. Fuck. Get him and save. It's... you? You're the traitor? Please! 